ミーミーミーです。Look at it! It's gonna change the way we farm oranges in our bathrooms. This is an Arduino based smart pot, guys. So, let's look at it. I got a cactus here because the new owner of this pot can't take care of plants. So, <laughs> Jara, gee, it's not you, I swear. Uh, so, what does this pot do? Okay, this pot is made out of a solid block of 3x3x3 three by three by three inch pine. Uh, this wood just happened to come off of my uh, house because we were replacing some of the wood and I was like, we'll use that. So I cut this out with a drop saw and it was pretty hard to do. Uh, it's got three coats of that stuff. The stuff that makes wood dark, stain, yeah, that. And like six coats of clear coat or uh, spray lacquer outdoor whatever bullshit. There are five tiny holes right here. A USB mini B connector on the back and a photoresistor on the side that also has clear coat on it. <laughs> And then on the bottom, we got five RGB LEDs, a Arduino 3.3 volt 8 megahertz Pro Mini uh, with the regulator removed. Uh, we got a 400 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery and a charger based on the TP4056 or something like that with a modified resistor so that it will charge at a lower power or lower current. current. So, for the wood itself, or, or I guess uh, some of you might be saying, but Silent Dreamcast, it's gonna mold because cause the wood and you got dirt in there, it's gonna be wet a lot. But no, see, I, I didn't, I, I don't have a CNC machine or anything like that, but I do have chisels and patience. So, I cut this hole out into the solid block of wood, none of this glue bullshit. I cut it out and it goes to about an inch and two inches deep and then I got some silicon and some mineral spirits or a hundred percent alcohol mixed it together and then painted the inside with the silicon so now it's it's uh whatchamacallit it's water resistant you could actually use this as a cup now there are also three holes that drill in between the top chamber and the Arduino and that is for two of, of the holes are used for probes for measuring the soil and then one hole is for the thermo resistor thingamajig and then that is all sealed up with the silicon and then while the silicon was halfway cured I threw in some sand in there and then that would bond to the top layer of the wet silicon so that now the plant or all the other dirt will still have something to grip on instead of it being all smooth and uh, it works pretty well so this uh, you you might be thinking it's like okay temperature sensor light sensor and soil sensor like that's only three sensors 50 lines of code at most nah, nah see because those are also animated there's five lights see that was just flashed green right there that means all good but five lights, it's like, it would be a crime just to put, like, you know, blinky, blinky bullshit. Nah, 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 see, uh, all the animations adds up to, like, 500 lines of code. And I wrote this code basically while taking a shit. And, uh, watching Accepted for, like, the a millionth time in a row. But basically, right now it's in a low power state, which is the normal state. And then I can actually force it into debug mode and demo mode and cancel debug and demo mode. So if I actually put my finger over the light sensor, this is how we actually access the secret menus. And then you reset it. If I could find the reset button. Okay. 
Now it should light up red if I actually press the button. Boop. Come on. It's too bright in here. Gotta turn off the light. Because I set a really high threshold for the the secret menu. There we go. Red, green, okay. And then I take off my hand and then oh, it looks like it went into party. Okay, yeah. This is demo mode. So the first light you saw was red in the middle, and then now it's doing this bar of rainbow, and then blue in the middle, and now it's doing this bar of rainbow. The red means temperature, so I have a minimum and maximum range of temperature, and when it's in demo mode, it shows where exactly in that range it's at. And then when it's uh, blue, so that means soil mode, it uh, it's doing the same thing. I have a minimum and a maximum set of resistance for the soil, for the water, and uh, it changes according to that. And then if it's all good, like if everything is exactly where it needs to be, it'll just do this while in demo mode, it'll just constantly loop between the two sensors uh, and touching or changing the, uh, the light sensor does nothing because this is demo mode and we want demo mode to burn as much battery as we want because we just want it to look cool. But in regular mode, regular mode, we want to save as much battery as we can because this runs on batteries. While it's charging, it basically enters demo mode and, well, not quite demo mode, minus the animations. It says fuck all to battery. Just constantly ping the sensors other than the soil sensor. The soil sensor is only pinged every 15 minutes. So 15 times an hour, so it's 4 an hour times 24 is a number greater than 48, well, 48 times 2. I'm not good at math, but... Yeah, so it'll only ping it that many times a day because the more times that you ping the soil sensor, the more wear it is on the contacts. And I didn't use galvanized nails, which I should have, but I can't solder on to galvanized steel. But I did use very thick copper that I was able to actually plate myself with uh, a bit of gold. I think it failed. I don't think it worked good enough, but... Uh, I'm hoping my algorithm was good enough. The circuit for all of this will explain how I uh, save power and reduce the problems on the soil sensor. But, uh, yeah. Fat cactus.